Hi friends, welcome to Biology Exams for you.com. Today's topic of our discussion is 5 classes of immunoglobulins. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing our channel. The 5 classes of immunoglobulins are IgG, IgM, IgA, IgD and IgE. Let's begin with the definition of immunoglobulins. Immunoglobulins or antibodies are globular proteins produced by plasma cells of B cells that react specifically with antigen that stimulated its production. First class of immunoglobulin is IgG. So this is the general structure of immunoglobulin. It is having a Y-shaped structure consisting of two heavy chains and two light chains. This region is called as fragment antigen binding or antigen binding regions. There are two antigen binding sites. These are the antigen binding sites which are very hyper variable that specifically determines an antigenic particle, antigenic determinant or epitope. And this region is called the FC region. This region specifically binds to FC receptors that is present on different types of immune cells or it can directly activate complement proteins. Now let us see the features of IgG. IgG the structure is H2L2. This is the structure of IgG. H2L2 means two heavy chain and two light chain joined by disulfide bond. Each immunoglobulin is having a unique heavy chain. In the case of immunoglobulin G it is the gamma chain. Then it has two antigen binding sites. Molecular weight is approximately 150,000 Dalton. It is the most abundant immunoglobulin, accounts nearly 80% of total immunoglobulin. It can cross placenta. Let me make it more clear. So IgG can pass through this placental sieve and it is primarily involved in providing protection for the fetus and also for the infants as it can cross placenta. And it is the only immunoglobulin that can cross placenta. It fixes complement. So this is an infected cell that is bounded by IgG. So antigen binding regions are bounded to the epitope of the infected cell. Then this FC region can activate complement proteins. As we know complement proteins are a set of proteins that works as a cascade mechanism activating many other proteins downstream ultimately causing the lysis of the infected cell or pathogen by formation of a membrane attacking complex or it enhances the phagocytic capacity of professional phagocytes like macrophages, neutrophils, etc. So it can interact with complement proteins. We have given a detailed video on second line of defense where complement proteins are involved. You can refer that video for more. FC region can bind to phagocytes. This is the FAB region or antigen binding region that bound to pathogen. Then this is the FC region. This FC region can bind to phagocytes. So this is a phagocyte like professional phagocytes like monocytes, macrophages, dendritic cells, etc. So it can directly pathogen bound IgG can activate this phagocytes. There are four subclasses Ig1 to Ig4 where Ig2 is directed against encapsulated bacteria. The functions are it is predominant in secondary immune response. So as you can see during primary immune response IgM is the first antibody that is produced. Then there will be the concentration of IgG gradually increases and it is the dominant antibody during secondary immune response. Along with IgM it mediates type 2 hypersensitivity. Then other functions include the common functions of antibodies that is neutralization, neutralizing the toxins of pathogens, agglutination, complement activation we have already discussed, opsonization that means enhancing the phagocytic capacity of professional phagocytes, then antibody dependent cell mediated cytotoxicity that is primarily mediated by natural killer cells that can directly interact with the pathogen and can cause lysis of the pathogen. Moving into the second type of immunoglobulin that is IgM. IgM is a pentamer. The structure is or five H2L2 units as you can see one two three four and five and that is joined by a J chain which is a joining chain. 
So it is a pentamer. It's a macroglobulin, largest immunoglobulin. Its heavy chain is mu and it has 10 antigen binding site making it the most effective immunoglobulin. In each subunit there are two antigen binding sites. In total 10 antigen binding sites are there for IgM. Molecular weight is approximately 900,000 Dalton, accounts nearly 6% in serum. It cannot cross placenta. It can fix complement just like IgG. This IgM antibody can directly bind to the bacterial surface on epitopes. This FC region can interact with complement protein and activates complement proteins just like IgG. So IgG and IgM are the immunoglobulins that fixes complement. IgM is the most important antibody that mediates primary immune response. As you can see here IgM comes then IgG then the concentration of IgG gradually increases in the secondary immune response. So it is a first IgM is a first antibody that is synthesized upon infection. Then neutralization, agglutination, complement activation we have already discussed in the case of IgG. The same thing happens here. This monomer can function as B cell receptor. Along with IgG it mediates type 2 hypersensitivity. Now the third one is IgA. IgA is called the secretory immunoglobulin. The structure is 2H2L2. It's a dimer that is joined by this J chain. The secretory protein is synthesized by epithelial cell. Its heavy chain is alpha. It has four antigen binding sites, one, two, three, and four. Molecular weight is approximately 385,000 Dalton. It is the second most abundant antibody after IgG, nearly 30%. It cannot cross placenta. It cannot fix complement. Then function includes neutralization and it forms the major antibody involved in mucosal defense that protects mucosal surface. So as you can see this is IgA, IgA that can directly bind to pathogens or epitopes and it causes neutralization. It is a major immunoglobulin in secretions such as colostrum, saliva, tears, gastrointestinal tracts and also genital tract secretions. The antibody that is in secretions is IgA. The next one is IgD. IgD the structure is H2L2. Two heavy chains and two light chains joined by disulfide bond. The heavy chain is delta. It has two antigen binding site. Molecular weight is approximately 180,000 Dalton. Less than 1% in serum. It cannot cross placenta. It cannot fix complement. It functions as P cell receptor. Monomeric units of IgM can function as B cell receptor. Like that, IgD can function as B cell receptor. Other effector mechanisms of IgD is not known. And the final one is IgE. IgE, the structure is H2L2. Heavy chain is epsilon and there are two antigen binding sites. Molecular weight is 200,000 Dalton. It is one of the least abundant antibodies. Its FC region can, can bind to mast cells and basophils. So this antibody is involved in allergic and inflammatory responses. As you can see, this allergen that is bound by B cell receptor. So the plasma cell secretes many IgEs. The FC region of this IgE has a receptor on mast cell. Let us zoom in this. As you can see, this is an IgE antibody. FC region of IgE has receptors on mast cells. On activation this mast cell degranulation happens, releases histamines and other cytokines that induces inflammatory responses. Function activation of mast cells and basophils especially effective against parasites and allergens mediates type 1 anaphylactic hypersensitivity or allergic reactions. So this IgE can directly bind to helminth epitopes or antigenic determinants and it can cause destruction of the pathogen directly by means of isnophil, basophil and mast cells or by inducing an inflammatory response ultimately expelling out the pathogen from the system. So these are the five types of immunoglobulins. 
Let me summarize. IgG is the most abundant immunoglobulin, whereas IgM is the largest immunoglobulin with 10 antigen binding sites. IgG and IgM mediates primary and secondary immune response. IgA is the secretory immunoglobulin that is present in all secretions. IgD acts as B cell receptor effector roles are not well known, whereas IgE mediates allergic and inflammatory responses along with activation of mast cells, basophils and eosinophils. Hope you are clear. If you find this video useful, please subscribe, share and like this video. Thank you so much for your support. You are with biologyexamsforyou.com.